What's up everybody? Welcome to Hammerdown Motorsports. Today we have another product review for you guys. So let's check out what we got. So today we are going to be upgrading my regular attire. I usually don't wear these socks, but we do have some very nice clean socks for our testing today. Usually I'm wearing the Crocs, but we're gonna be upgrading with these beautiful Caterpillar boots from Cat Footwear. So let's open these up and check them out. So as we open the box, we do have this beautiful paper to unveil our brand new work boots. I don't know how this is gonna work out on the seat. This was a bad idea. Let's switch to a chair. All right, much better over here. So let's get these out of the box. Give you guys a look at what we're working with here. Look at that. We have some very nice tan boots, all leather by the looks of it. We have these really nice laces, and then you do have the hooks up here, so if you wanna tie them all the way to the top, you can. And everything is pre-laced, which is very nice. Let's grab the other one. This is a look at the bottom. You've got the cat branding there. And what else we got here? We've got their SRX on there as well. And these are a slip resistant sole on these and they're also oil resistant as well. So that is very handy because we do get a little bit of oil spillage in the shop from time to time and you don't wanna be sliding around and well, these are just a hazard. So over here we have our specifications on the side of our boot box. These are in the color of Honey Reset. These are the Threshold Rebounds. And then we have all these little symbols right here, which stand for Composite Toe, Electrical Hazard, Slip Resistance, Waterproof, and Non-Metallic. So one thing I have found with steel toes is if you're working the cold, they can get a little bit cold on your feet, and they're also usually a little heavier than a composite. Composite's nice for lightweight, and all of those types of things are always an, an important factor when you're wearing these all day. And waterproof is very important as well. I used to work out in mining for Caterpillar, and my feet definitely had to be dry during the day, or that was a miserable 12-hour shift. So we're definitely gonna be testing that out and making sure that we can do a mad dash through a little bit of water without getting our nice new socks wet. So it's time to ditch the Crocs for now and throw on our new work boots and give these a try. All right, so boots are on and first impressions, definitely you can feel the arch support on these, which is nice. You wanna have that little bit of support in the middle of your foot. It's not overbearing, but you know it's there. Grip wise, we seem to be doing pretty well. Just overall comfort seems nice. Obviously when you get a new pair of boots, it does take a minute for them to break in and kind of get accustomed to your foot. But right off the bat, I'm not getting any toe pinching or anything like that, which I have felt in other shoes and boots over the years. These ones feel very comfortable. Just my first few steps, but as a mechanic, first thing we're gonna test is the good old oil test. We're gonna throw some oil on the floor see how slip resistant these soles are. So we have some 5W30 Mobile One. Give ourselves a little bit of an oil slick, just like that. All right, so this is first step with the oil slick. Moved it around, got it kind of worked into the soles of the boots, but let's do a little more. Let's do a little more. How about, yeah, a little more, there we go. Let's make a big oil slick here. Now let's really get these soles full. Oh, we got some on the brand new boot, look at that. Well, we're gonna be doing some more testing anyway, so it is what it is. You're not gonna keep these boots pretty for long, I'll tell you that in the shop. So now that we got them nice and soaked, step over here. I mean, within like a step or two, Obviously when you've got a full coating of oil, we've got a whole bunch here on the floor. That is pretty much all you can expect from a non-slip. As long as you could take like a step or two afterwards and then you got grip again, I'm pretty happy with the way that those work. And when we have a big oil spill, usually this is what I'm doing. I'm doing the old boot mop with a rag, clean it up. As long as you can walk around on the oily surface, while still retaining your grip to keep your balance. That's kind of what we're after here. 
And I've had boots in the past, probably we're going back 10 years or so, when a lot of things were getting changed up with work boots and people are saying that they're anti-slip and they definitely were not. So, yep, still got some grip and we're still standing in basically an oil slick. So I think anybody working in your average environment would be pretty happy with the way that these grip. All right, let's do the old kick test. Hear that composite toe doing its job. All right, so now we're headed down to the creek and we got bugs everywhere. There's only one way to try this and that's just to get in and get her done. And there we go. Obviously you don't want, look at that. Look at the beading off these things. It beads right off. Just like a duck's back, look at that. Now as for our waterproof capabilities, look at this. The water just beads right off, it's crazy get into a little bit deeper. Obviously we can't go over the top of the boot. That's not what we're trying to do here. But if you were working in an environment where you had to deal with some water, you want to make sure your feet stay dry because nobody wants wet feet. That is not a fun time. As you can see, we are going up over the laces, all that kind of thing. See if we can get a little bit deeper. And these things just bead the water right off. They don't hold it in like some boots will. And I can already feel my feet are nice and dry. You can feel the coolness from the water, but I don't feel like there's any water in the boots. So we'll go for another little stroll upstream here, just like we would in a environment where you find equipment and all that kind of stuff that we work on when we need a pair of boots like this. And then we'll go back to the shop, take the boots off and we'll see how nicely clean our socks are underneath. All right, so back in the shop, see how easy the boots come off. Just like that. And look at those socks. I got maybe a drop from the top because it was splashing around a little bit, but you can see the, the actual sock part that was in the waterproof part of the boot. No problem whatsoever. And these come off nice too. You do have this tab here on the back to slide them on, but they're not overly tight where you're gonna have to worry about trying to get these off at the end of the day. They come off pretty simply, and you do have the option of going all the way to the top with them if you want to. Say if you're going into some deeper stuff, you might wanna do that. But I really like the comfort of them. The look of them is really nice, and the functionality speaks for itself. So there it is everybody, the Threshold Rebound Boots from Cat Footwear. Definitely a nice looking boot with awesome functionality and obviously you can see they are waterproof. They work really well with our oil slick test and I think they'd be a great boot for a mechanic in the shop or out in the field. So big thanks to Cat Footwear for sending these boots out for my review. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and as always, keep that hammer down.